is in Oakland. Oh, yeah, it feels great. Good News in Oakland reporting from the East Oakland Youth Development Center for the Olympic celebration reception for Miss Trinity Wilson, Team USA's 2010 100 meter hurdler. Trinity, welcome to Good News in Oakland. It's a pleasure to have you on the show. Same, thank you. Trinity, it is outstanding news today. EOYDC has just presented you with the EOYDC Olympic medal. How does it feel to receive that? It feels good because it's nice and heavy, has some weight on it. So it's really nice. Since I didn't get a medal there, I definitely have a medal here. Well, you know what? You didn't get a medal at the 2010 U Singapore Olympics. However, you were phenomenal and you're one of the fastest women in the world. How did you train to be the fastest woman in the world? I trained by having the support of my coach because without him being here, I wouldn't be doing half of the stuff I'm doing now because he's able to understand my personality, help me get off these hurdles and do what I have to do so I can break all the records that I need to and just to be an outstanding hurdler. You've definitely been breaking records. Coach Taylor at the EOYDC has helped you be uh, break seven to eight national records. Talk about some of those records. Well, I mean, there's quite a lot. I just don't, I just don't think about them that much because I try to move on to the next thing. But I broke the freshman and sophomore indoor and outdoor records and age group records from 12 to 15. So I mean, it's been quite a lot. I'm trying to get all of them as I get up in age, so nobody else will have their name in the record books but me. You go, Trinity. You go. Now, what kind of life skills? Have you learned through your track and field experience as well as your Olympic experience? There's not a person that wakes up every day and doesn't feel like I want to be in the Olympics. But what life skills have you learned? I learned that I just have to do make a ton of sacrifices because if I want to get to the real Olympics in 2012 or 2016, I have to sacrifice my butt off because no other person wakes up in the morning without saying, okay, I could be an Olympian with doing all this other stuff too because it's not going to happen and just being in Singapore, being in the Olympics, and knowing Oakland was on my back, and it wasn't a burden, but it was some pride into it. So I knew I had to carry the name well in my 100 meter hurdle race. And you carried it well. Oakland is very proud of you. And lastly, you have been recognized on tonight, you know, with the likes of people like Marilyn King and Oaklander and uh, Eddie Hart. <clears throat> so, I'm just thinking about that. That is amazing. Marilyn King and Eddie Hart were here. How do you feel just ex um, enjoying this experience and celebration with them? It feels really good because in the, I realized that I could be a member of this whole Olympic celebration and then really becoming one when I entered the Real Olympics and I could say, hey, we're Olympians together. So the whole thing is nice because showing that they recognize me as being a 16 year old and I was 15 years old when I ran in the Olympics it's just a major blessing for the whole experience. It was a major blessing and Trinity we're so thankful you represented Oakland very well you were one of the youngest you were the youngest member on Team USA at the Singapore Youth Olympics it was the first time they had had the Youth Olympics you have made so much history and Oakland is very proud thank you so much for being on Good News in Oakland. You're welcome. Good News in Oakland! Oh yeah, it feels great. <laughs>